my satanic worshippers. Red hair, hard work, exceptional rapping abilities. I can't attribute my success to any of those things. It's me joining the Illuminati. That Catch Me Outside girl went viral on Dr. Phil. She later sold her soul to the devil and became a famous influencer on the internet. Today, we are going to dissect the dark truth about Daniel Bregoli. Hello guys, it's Teaser and this is Value for Viral, exposing the dark side. Bad Bobby is a famous American rapper, songwriter and internet personality. Her original name is called Daniel Bregoli. Bad Barbie was born on March 26, 2003. Now she's about 19 years old and she's from Florida. Danielle Bregoli was just a normal white teen who went through her normal routine until she appeared on Dr. Phil back in 2016. She ordered a phrase, catch me outside, how about that? And it became a viral meme on the internet. That was how she became very popular on the internet. Danielle Bregoli grew up in a crazy ghetto lifestyle and she has always been getting in and out of trouble. So the devil saw an opportunity and threw a safety net. Now her meme was still going viral. So DJ Sud, the remix god, was inspired to create a single based on that meme, which went viral and a lot of kids on the internet were making videos about it. This even made her more famous. So she decided to become a rapper. She started rapping and took the name Bad Baby. Bad Baby released her first single called These Hoes in 2017, which blew up and peaked number 77 on the Billboard Hot 100, making Bregoli the youngest female artist to debut on that chart. She was just 14 years. You can imagine a 14 year old spilling some profane bombs on the internet to influence other kids and teens to flow in the same river. As she kept influencing kids into these drastic behaviors, the devil was impressed with her commitment and the met behind the scenes in this satanic crew and they said, we need that girl, we need bad Barbie. So the elites of the music industry threw a golden bone and this female puppy caught it in one piece. Now we have the record deal. Atlantic Records, a popular satanic company came with a record deal and she sold her soul to the music industry for fame and success. These rituals were done on the dark side and she made some crazy mentions about it. There's a true story on how me and David Spade met. I was at my weekly Illuminati meeting. I was sitting next to Beyonce and Jay-Z and all of a sudden my boy Spade walked in right after Drake walked in. I was like, yo Drake, move your little bitch ass somewhere else. I gotta talk to Spade real quick. And then we burned two truckloads of money and did some devil prayers. I sacrificed four goats, three chickens, and one sheep. And then we just, yo, chopped it up, whatever. We was like, hey, be in this video, bitch. And then we went to catch and had some lobsters with chicken blood. I still have the t-shirt with the chicken blood on it. I think it's a Drake t-shirt. Clearly, she talks about the Illuminati and it might look like it's a joke and far-fetched, but if you look at everything from a spiritual standpoint, you will know she's not joking. No matter how playful she says it. The constant use of satanic symbolism, Illuminati symbolism, and her message with sacred spells that she's casting, brainwashing her younger audience, speaks volume. More to say, she's been heavily promoted by the music industry, the elites who run the internet to portray a bad message to the younger minds on the internet. Her other persona was tainted and fixed to destroy the minds of many, if you know what I'm saying. She's mind controlled to hypersexualize the masses and influence young people, especially young girls, to profane themselves with sexual immorality, money, fame, success, drugs, and worldly pleasures, if you know what I'm saying. She's not different from the other likes of Doja Cat, Eastian Doll, Megan Thee Stallion and the rest. These women are being paid millions of dollars by the elites to show other girls the Jezebel way to hell. The Bible says to be kind of minded is dead, but to be spiritually minded is eternal life in Romans 8 verse 6 to 10. Last year, 2021, Bad Barbie turned 18. She quickly created an OnlyFans account and shared it on her social media. 
within six hours, within six, six, six hours, she made a million dollars. At least the six in Boston was hidden in plain sight. She made a million dollars in six hours. Personally, the only way I can explain this is through the casting of spells. Don't forget, over the years, she has been promoting nudity and casting spells on her brainwashed audience. And people have been lost after her body because she's been exposing her herself. For me, this was a no-brainer. If she could pull out a million bucks real quick from these people she charmed on the internet. She went vocal about making a melee from only fans and pushed this agenda again on young women to play the devil's game by seducing people, especially men, by posting profane content, nude contents on the internet. Now, OnlyFans is not a platform for only nudity. You can post anything you want to post on OnlyFans, but we all know, in fact, people know that when you got an OnlyFans, they are expecting something khaki, if you know what I'm saying. And it didn't end there. But Barbie kept promoting this idea on the masses. She boasted of amassing a whopping $50 million from OnlyFans. This one blew me up completely. I had to take an alien ship to Mars for a break because this squad is a scam. $50 million on OnlyFans? That's impossible. I can't believe that. But anyways, later on she came out with the proof. She showed her $50 million she made on OnlyFans. Now guys, do you believe it's possible to make that kind of money on OnlyFans? Leave your thoughts in the comment section. Personally, I would say no, no, no. There's, there's absolutely no way you can make that kind of money on OnlyFans organic, organically. I don't believe it was purely organic. You know, when you play the devil's game, they want to deceive everyone. You see, like they can deceive the whole world to fall into hell. Everything can be faked. Personally, despite the fact that I understand that Bad Barbie cast spells on, on the masses using satanic rituals to charm people to fall into her stuff, you know what I'm saying? But the elites and the Illuminati can still decide to put millions of dollars in her OnlyFans. Yeah, they can still decide to put this money in her OnlyFans account. You know, the, the main goal, okay, the main goal in all these things is to convince younger people to get involved into that stuff. That's the only reason why you will see these famous people with a lot of money degrading themselves going down to this kind of stuff for really no good reason. The main goal of the Illuminati is to make sure that most of the world ends up in hell. You see, that goal is to control the minds of the younger women to act like prostitutes. And they know that if these lost souls die, they will end up in hell. And they will get rewarded. I mean, the, the devil will reward their leads and the celebrities with more money and fame. Don't forget the devil is the god of this world and he owns all the financial institution. His blueprint is even on the dollar bill. Don't forget the Austin eyes and the Illuminati. It's open for everyone to see. And that is not all because I believe that all these things is completely sinister. Okay. When Bad Barbie was asked on tips and secrets on how she made so much money on OnlyFans during an episode on, on Go Talk, she said, you will need to sign up before we can give you the secrets. Go OnlyFans hack slash advice. <laughs> I can't tell y'all my secrets. But if you want to know my secrets, you can come sign with Scoop Entertainment and we'll tell you all the secrets. Sign up like sell my soul or what? Because you can make stuff up. Like, can anyone explain why someone would need to sign up for whatever just to be more in quote, successful creating adult content on the internet? People are asking for tips. Tips. And you're saying sign up. Sign up first. Sign up first sell your soul first then we will give you tips on how to be extremely successful in this thing because it's not normal for a person to make that kind of money from only fans no matter how famous no matter how beautiful no matter how tall looking what no matter whatever you are it's not possible for you to make that kind of money on that platform within a short period of time she's just been like one or two years on only fans and she's made she made already 50 million dollars that's definitely the devil's game. The first time he really spoke me was this girl called Britney Bell, like the gamer girl, right? She's called Britney Bell. Britney Bell is a YouTuber who posts some funny, crazy, spooky contents 
she plays video games but what really spoke me up was her satanic rituals because she also had some only fan stuff but before only fans she was doing some crazy stuff on patreon posting some adult content but these things were filled with spells demonic spells satanic spells satanic rituals and all these things were in those videos people did not see it because they are blinded they are already they are already hypnotized by the whole stuff and she made millions from doing that even this girl called bella Thorne, she was a former disney star she went through the same satanic paths and she made millions on OnlyFans. to be honest with you there are many women who post adult content on OnlyFans better than bad baby far much better than bad baby but they are making an average return of about 100 to 300 dollars if they are lucky there are very very few people that can even make up to 5k to 100k on that platform but at the end of the day it's a devil's game and that is why they use celebrities like cardi b megan d trisha patias to push this negative attitude on the masses and very few people talk about the after effect they only talk about the money but they don't talk about the after effects from doing that stuff this is one way of becoming a slave this is another way of becoming a complete sellout selling your own soul selling yourself to the devil selling yourself to porn masturbation and immorality the moment you open your vessel to these things you become possessed by these demons and that's why people can't stop they can't stop because they are possessed already by these demons i don't understand that people are cool with that but when you become a slave to these things not in the pawn used as a puppet by the devil for peanut and conflicts that's the trap you have to avoid while you're living on this earth but these people are being paid to push this thing on the younger people if you know what i'm saying <laughs> it's crazy <laughs> so that's why we have to pray for them that's why we have to pray for ourselves pray for our younger ones our community the country and the world at large we have to pray for everyone because we are all children of the most high god with that said i think i've said enough for this video hit the like button if you're new subscribe backup channel value for vara eyes don't miss we are always going live on that channel and posting some new bombs so what do you think about it leave it down in the comment section and see you guys in the next video god bless you bye